Welcome to the Marketing and Heart Podcast, a show for handmade sellers like yourself that's filled with tips and tricks to help you build a solid foundation for your business. I believe if you made it by hand that you should market it with heart. Now let's get on with the show. Welcome back. Today, we're diving into risk taking, the kind of leap that makes you wonder if you're on the edge of a breakthrough or on the edge of insanity. I'm sharing one of the biggest risks that I've ever taken in my jewelry business, The Wicked Griffin, and the lessons that came with it. If you're feeling stuck or are on the fence about a big decision, this one is for you. So let's go back to when my business was thriving, but absolutely wearing me out. Orders were nonstop, and every piece was handmade from morning to night, every single day. Even when I was pregnant, I kept up this cycle pushing myself beyond exhaustion. I will never forget one particular night during the holiday rush. I was eight months pregnant, hunched over my workbench workbench at 8 p.m., trying to saw through a two millimeter thick piece of silver with hours of work still ahead of me. I sat there crying in exhaustion, but I was grateful my business was doing well but I was also breaking under the pressure. That night, I told myself something had to give. I could not keep living like that. And then I discovered that there was this amazing tool. It was a laser engraver. And I decided to invest in this laser engraver, a $30,000 purchase straight from my profits. I didn't take out a loan or have a backup plan. It was just me, my business, and a huge leap of faith. I was freaking terrified, but I knew this change was necessary if I wanted to keep my business and my sanity intact. When the engraver finally arrived, it felt like a weight had been lifted. I wasn't spending endless hours on each piece anymore, and I finally had time to breathe. That single decision allowed me to rearrange my entire workflow and made my business sustainable. I also got my life back. Looking back, it really was a life-changing decision. But that risk, as scary as it was, taught me something crucial. To grow, you have to be willing to take a leap. Of course, not every risk pans out. I've had my share of misses too. I once bought a $4,000 Glowforge that now just sits in a spare room collecting dust. It was a great idea that never took off, but that's the reality of taking risks. Each decision, whether it works out or not, teaches something valuable. The key is to learn from each one and moving forward. So here's where I want to turn this back to you. Think about the risks you're holding back from right now. Is there a decision you've been hesitating because you're unsure how it will turn out? Maybe it's an investment in a new tool like me, or exploring a new marketing strategy. Whatever it is, ask yourself, what is the best that could happen if this pays off? Then think about what you would need in place to take that step with confidence. Now, here are some questions to ask yourself if you're deciding on taking your next risk. One, define your why. Why do you want to make this change or investment? Will it give you more time, help you grow, ease your workload? If the answer feels meaningful, that's a good sign. Two, consider the impact. Picture your business a few months after taking this risk. Will it help streamline things or free up your time? Sometimes visualizing the impact makes it easier to take the first step. Three, evaluate the downsides. What is the worst case scenario? If the risk doesn't pay off, can you recover from it? Accepting the possible downsides can sometimes make the choice clearer. Four, take small steps. Not all risks have to be huge. Sometimes starting with a smaller step like dedicating a bit more time to a marketing strategy or outsourcing one small task can be the nudge you need to see results. And five, what would happen if you don't take the risk? That's a big one, isn't it? Remember, risk is part of growth. And sometimes the only way to know if something will work is to try it. Every step you take, big or small, contributes to building momentum. Running a handmade business is no small feat. Risks, big or small, are a natural part of the journey. 
And when you step outside of your comfort zone and give yourself the chance to grow in ways you couldn't have planned. If this episode hit home and you're ready to take your business to the next level, I've got something that can help you with that very first step. Download my free guide. It's a proven strategy to help get you more visitors and sales to your Etsy shop or your website with blogging. It's a guide that can help you bring more traffic to your site in a way that builds your own brand outside of relying on platforms like Etsy or using social media. So head over to marketingandheart.com to grab the guide and start building a traffic source that you can control. So if you're ready to make a change in your business, but you're feeling a little nervous, remember that taking risks is often the only way to grow. It's not about getting everything right. It's about being open to what's possible. And if you found this episode helpful, please share it with another handmade business owner who could use some encouragement. Don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes. Thank you so much for listening. If you're looking for more ways to grow your handmade biz, why not head over to my website at www.marketingandheart.com. See you there.